Hello and welcome to a special edition of Mid-Island Custom Diecast. My name is Evan, and today we're going to be doing a Hot Wheels 34 Ford for the Three Blind Mice Paint It Pink Challenge, uh, which will be benefiting uh, breast cancer. And my charity of choice, of course, is the BC Cancer Foundation here in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Uh, here is what we started with. Uh, it's the, I believe it's the 87 mainline casting of the 34 3 window, I believe is what it's actually called. I've already gone ahead and drilled the one post in the front. So we will take it apart and have a little look-see at the pieces. Uh, it's a, I guess you call these a uh, black wall metal base. It's got this little... A plastic matching plastic fender well piece and then the interior seat and the steering wheel and dash is together with the engine and front radiator and headlights and there's the tinted glass which we will be refurbishing now I've got that little three dollar price tag taken off and you can see some of the details on the roof and Now we'll take those wheels off. They are not what I was looking for with this casting. So I take this little um, engraving ball, I guess, or grinding ball, and wear out the little tabs and pop it out. And here we've got the body back from the stripper. Um, these old Hot Wheels give me some trouble sometimes. You can see there's a a bit of red paint left behind so I'll take the wire wheel a couple of different ones and just get this little guy will get all the little paint pieces out of the hard to reach areas along the panel lines and on the inside of the body and we'll take a little dental pick and clean out all of the panel lines uh, I use this two two reasons to um, actually deepen the panel lines and to get the paint out. You can see here having a little trouble, a little piece of metal and I eventually scrape that out of there. Here's a bigger wire wheel. This is a brass one. Give it a once over over the whole car. Uh, while I'm doing this I'm checking for casting lines which there were a, a bunch uh, up and down both the driver and passenger side. After a little filing, we'll take these little sanding sticks and work those casting lines out a bit more so they're not as noticeable. See here, we've already gone ahead and sprayed the body with the Tamiya White surface primer got all the casting lines out, cleaned the body up, degreased, all the normal things that you've seen everyone do a million times. Uh, the Molotow spray can with the Mad Sea Psycho Pink is the shade that I've chosen to go with. And we'll just give it, uh, this is a first coat which is fairly light, as light as a spray can can be. And then I'll go back over it one more time with another coat. And while that's drying, we take all our plastic pieces and we'll give them a nice warm bath. Oh yes, and I've sanded the fender wells down, fender flares down, whatever they're called. And uh, we'll wash everything up. After we got all the plastic pieces washed, or probably simultaneously I would suspect. Um, I'm going to put the base in a mixture of CLR and water. Um, I was, I don't know, the, the base wasn't in too bad a shape so uh, it didn't do much uh, but it did come out looking nice and clean. And after that we are going to just give it a quick polish. No need to do any painting or anything here. 
So, um, I did off camera paint the seats, uh, just repainted them black and cleaned up the windshield, give it a little sanding and dipped it in the Pledge Revive. We'll see all that later. Here's the pa plastic uh, fender piece. And this will get uh, the white primer as well as the Mad Sea Psycho Pink. I really just ordered it um, because of the name Psycho Pink. Um, I had no intention of using it for this build um, at the time that I ordered it, but it really is a great color and I think it turned out really nice. So before we give everything a clear coat, I take the Molotow chrome pen and just do the door handles and hinges and a little handle on the back, a trunk lid I guess, or whatever you want to call it, and some additional details. Uh, here is some Tamiya chrome silver for the taillight. And after the chrome silver, just do a little clear red. And after this, everything gets a coat of clear. And which I've done off camera. I've been uh, filming a lot less or losing a lot more film. Um, but, you know, getting the work done is what's important to me. And sharing these videos is just a little something extra. I'll take a real quick look at the parts and pieces ready to go back together. And a reminder of what we started with. The thrift store price tag and all. And here's what we finished with. Uh, the engine got the Molotow chrome spray can treatment. Engine and front grille and headlights. I didn't paint them in white, um, but I think they look pretty good. Taillights there in chrome and red. And door handles, hinges, back hatch. Everything done in chrome and that pink color. Anyway, uh, this will be going on my eBay store and all the proceeds will go to the BC Cancer Foundation as I stated up front. Uh, if you're interested in buying it or uh, just checking out that, the link will be in the description. Um, appreciate everyone watching and uh, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave some comments. And with that, we'll leave you with a few glamour shots and a little more turntable footage.